Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the buttons that appear on the toolbars in Crystal Reports to quickly and easily gain one-click access to some of the most commonly used commands and functions. Let's review the names of the various toolbars and what functions are available on these toolbars. While many of the functions listed may not seem familiar yet, you will see how to use each function later on in the course. Many toolbars are displayed by default within Crystal Reports. You can control which toolbars appear and where they are located on screen. In order to turn a toolbar's display on or off, you can select View and then choose the Toolbars command from the menu bar. Doing this will cause the Toolbars dialog box to appear, listing the available toolbars within a list of checkboxes. To display a toolbar, make sure that there's a check in front of the toolbar's name within this list. To hide a toolbar, simply uncheck the checkbox next to the name of the toolbar that you wish to hide. When you are finished selecting which toolbars you want to show or hide, then click the OK button to set the new toolbar display. Note that a faster way to accomplish this same task is to simply right-click any displayed toolbar on screen. Doing that will display a pop-up menu of the toolbars available. Toolbars that display a checkmark in front of their names are currently shown on screen. You can click the name of any toolbar displayed in the pop-up menu to toggle its display on or off. When a toolbar is displayed on screen, you can find what the name of a button is within the toolbar by holding your mouse pointer over the button and resting it there until you see the name appear in a small text box called a screen tip. This can be a useful way to familiarize yourself with the buttons that are available. Toolbars can also be displayed on screen in one of two modes, embedded or floating. An embedded toolbar appears as if it were part of the application window and will typically appear embedded above the report design area. When your toolbar is embedded, you will see a thin handle appear at its left end. You can click and drag the toolbar by this handle to move it. You can drag it by this handle to embed it in any one of the four sides of the application window. Note, however, if you choose to embed it at either the right or left sides of the application window, the handle by which you then move the toolbar will instead appear at the top of the toolbar versus the left side of the toolbar. If you move an embedded toolbar from the side of the application window and release it over the design area, it will then appear as a floating toolbar which hovers over the workspace area. When the toolbar appears as a floating toolbar, it will display its name within its own title bar at the top of the toolbar. You can click and drag the floating toolbars to move them around using the thin blue title bars that appear at the top of the toolbar when it is displayed as a floating toolbar. You can even click and drag them to the sides of the application screen and release them there to make them appear as embedded toolbars again. If you accidentally drag an embedded toolbar from the side of the application window and make it a floating toolbar, you can easily return it to the location from which you moved it by simply double-clicking the thin blue title bar of the toolbar when it appears as a floating toolbar to re-embed it back into the side of the application window from which you dragged it originally. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.